Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to demonstrate inking up my small lino block here, this little flower shape, using black ink. So what you're going to need is a roller or brayer, one that is roughly the size of the lino, some black ink, um, relief printing, it could be water-based or oil-based, I'm using the Caligo Safe Wash inks. You're going to need a palette knife, your lino block, some paper, just plain cartridge paper, um, some kind of printing surface, so I've got a glass cutting mat here, but you can use any sort of piece of glass, perspex, marble, or even a plastic tray, okay? So when we're printing, it's really important to make sure that none of the little bits of lino that we've carved um, out of our lino block get anywhere near where we're going to be printing. So this surface here is clean, smooth, shiny, and I've just wiped it down with a clean cloth to make sure that it's a lovely clean printing surface. I'm going to take my um, printing ink, my black, take the lid off and just place a little bit of the printing ink onto the surface here. I'm just going to roll, not roll, just lay out a little bit onto here. Okay. Now what we can also do then is use our palette knife. As, as of habit, I tend to put the lids back on the inks as soon as I've done that so they don't dry out. And I'm just going to line up my ink as so with the palette knife, just to spread it out slightly so that it's ready for our roller. We check that our roller is clean, that it has no bits on it, no bits of lino, no stains, and nothing that will get into the lino itself. Most rollers have little stands, so when you're not using them, you can stand them up. When you're ready to use them, just flip them over, and then you've got, you're ready to roll. So let's get rolling. I'm just going to move that paper out of the way. I am a little bit of a messy um, printer. So what you tend to find as you're rolling, you might end up with little spits of um, ink going everywhere. So I'm just going to start to bring down the lino, not the lino, the ink, um, just gradually rolling backwards and forwards, keeping my touch very light, very light. Don't need to press hard at all. And you can probably hear the sound of that ink as it goes backwards and forwards and I'm just trying to create a lovely even coating of ink onto the roller itself so that it's not too gloopy and thick so I'm not rolling out all the ink I've put out I'm just taking a little bit down enough to coat this roller with a lovely even covering and you can you could almost hear and with experience you learn that what sound is exactly right it's almost sort of like velcro or something as it snaps there's just this this sweet spot where the line the ink is just enough but not so much that it's really textured um, so that roller is ready and covered so I'm going to take my lino block here once more I'm going to check there's no little bits of lino that might get into our ink so I tend to just use um, a paintbrush to brush away any bits or use my hands just to check that there's no little bits of lino that has stayed in our cuts and I'm just going to lay that down here I'm going to transfer the ink from the roller over onto the lino block and I'm just going to pick up and put down several times. Again I'm keeping my touch really light there's absolutely no need for me to press very hard if I press hard I'm going to kind of squish the ink and this just needs to rest on the relief. Um, I sometimes turn my lino around different ways. Lino although it is a flat substance it might not always be perfectly a hundred percent flat so it's important to sort of turn it around and just make sure that you catch the ink on the edges and everywhere that you need to. Great. And what you're basically doing is just getting a lovely thin, even covering of ink placed onto the surface of the lino. Um, so I must do this uh, 10 times, 7, 10, 12 times, pick up the ink, put down. Um, and I often get quite close up to it to check and I'm just sort of looking around the edges to make sure that no line, no ink has got onto the little bits of lino around here. So that is all inked up and it is ready to print.